Working in unison will ultimately lead to success no matter where you come from, no matter what your education is, no matter what your background is. It's going to take three things working in unison for you to achieve your dreams. Hard work, calculated risk, and sheer dumbass luck. Those three things have created every unique individual that stands out today. Hard work, work is it means a commitment. It means on Saturday, instead of going skiing or surfing, instead of going out and playing with your friends, instead of sleeping in, you're motivated, you're ambitious, you're driven. You want to get up. You want to go to work. That's the difference. If you don't have that feeling, forget it. Calculated risk, this is a huge thing to understand. Where a lot of people fail is right out of the gate, they want to create the next fit next Facebook right out of the gate they want to be the next Elon Musk and own Tesla Motors high risk high risk leads to high reward but on the flip side of that low risk leads to low reward but low reward is still a reward it's better than no reward and so what I'm gonna tell you right now is to go for the low risk, low reward business ventures. Even there, the word risk still exists. Is it, maybe it isn't the ideal job that you dreamed of, but it's something within your skill set: Landscaping, lawn maintenance, becoming a mechanic, opening a bakery. There's a lot of different types of opportunities that exist. It's not going to take a lot of overhead. I don't want you to put I don't want you to invest a lot into these low risk ventures. I want you to go in at ground level because the experience of building a business from ground level is something you need. You absolutely need when you when you eventually dominate that market, that experience is going to help you enter into high risk, high reward businesses down the road. We're having a, we're going to have a five year and a ten year plan when we talk about how to become successful. Even in those low risk ventures, there is still a level of sheer dumb ass luck that must exist. It's either with you or it's against you. And let's just say you enter into a low risk venture and it fails try again. Just keep trying. Don't give up. Those are the venues that won't kill you if they fail. If you invest $100,000 into a high risk venture that has a potential high reward, there is a greater likelihood that that business will ultimately fail. You've got to understand for every person that has created a Facebook and, and succeeded, there's 10,000, if not more, maybe 100,000 people that have tried to get into a high risk venture like creating the next Facebook and absolutely failed. But for every landscaping company, every garage mechanic, there's probably one that failed. It's a one to one ratio, not a one to 10,000 ratio of success. And it's all based on experience because when you get into that low risk venture, it requires the same experience to run a low risk business as it does a high risk business. All the basic, principles are there you get your feet wet and then you build that business that low-level business you make it more profitable more profitable and more profitable and pretty soon you have a decent amount of income beneath you that will allow you to experiment and try to go into higher risk ventures it gives you the working capital behind you as well as the basic experience necessary to run a business that's going to allow you to try new things. And there's a sheer, a sheer level of dumbass luck involved in any of this. So what I want you to do is I want you to put a plan together on your first venture. I want you to find a pain in the market. I want you to look at your strengths and I want you to say, oh, I'm good at this. And then I want you to analyze that market and go, is there something missing? Is there a pain in that market? Is there some place not being serviced at all? Or I could come in and change what's happening a little bit and service that area. That's, that's going to give you your first taste of entrepreneurship, of running your own business. Dominate that. Absolutely pick something you're good at and focus on that. Do not focus on things you're mediocre at. Just forget about it. If you're mediocre at something, don't try it out. Build upon your strengths and you will dominate your market. Focus on building upon your weakness and you will become mediocre at best. 
There is absolutely no reason for you to waste your time trying to improve your weaknesses when you should be improving upon the things you were already excelling at, which will make you a leader in the market before anyone else. So that is the ultimate key to success. I don't care how poor you are starting out with, it's a combination of hard work, calculated risk, low level risk, which will then migrate into higher risk, higher reward businesses five or 10 years down the road, and a level of sheer dumbass luck, which is completely out of your control. But that dumbass luck has built every single successful person that you've ever met. And they fail to mention that because it's out of their control. They don't want to give credit where credit is due and it's taking power away from them. That's why they don't mention how critical just being lucky is in the grand scheme of it. And I want you to wrap your head around the fact that you may not be lucky the first time, the second, the fifth, or the tenth time. You may not be lucky, but the eleventh or twelfth time, that may be your breaking point. That may be where things start to stick and then you can make your business grow from there. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up because you didn't get lucky. Don't take the blame for all the failures, but analyze what went wrong, if it does go wrong, and improve upon it the next time. There's never a bad experience. Every experience is a lesson learned and a way to do things better the next time. Absolutely, the power is within you. You have to be motivated, you have to be ambitious, you have to be driven. Understand the risk levels, low risk, low reward. Dominate the low risk, low reward business. That will give you the working capital, that will give you the experience to enter into high risk, high reward businesses. A certain level of it depends upon sheer dumbass luck and nothing more that's out of your control. And if you don't get lucky the first time, it may be the fifth time, but eventually, as long as you keep trying, it will come to you. God bless, go share this video. Let somebody you care about know that they, they have an opportunity as well. I love you guys, love you guys.